do all beings suffer? Do they suffer equally? Is there a difference between dog's suffering and a mosquito's suffering? What about trees and flowers? Do we cause suffering when we cut a tree or collect flowers out in the fields? Well, the main thing is, you know, uh, the Buddha's main purpose was how to free us, all the sentient beings, uh, from suffering and how to bring lasting peace and happiness. Because none of us want to have suffering and none of us uh, wish to have problems and difficulties and we all want uh, to be happy, to be free from suffering and to have lasting peace and happiness. So therefore, you know, we need to, in order to find the causes, in order to find the solution to the sufferings, we need to find the causes of the suffering. In order to know the causes of the suffering, first we need to know what kind of sufferings are there, what is the problem. If we don't know the problem, we can't, uh, we can't try to find it, its causes and therefore we can't um, solve that. So the question do all beings suffer? Uh, all beings do not suffer. You know, there are beings uh, who is free from suffering. Uh, if there is no beings who are not, who, are, who, who cannot be free from suffering, then you know why do we do anything? We don't need to do any any dharma practice. Any, you know, because if there's a possibility that we can be free from suffering, therefore we need to find the causes of suffering and the what are the sufferings we have. So therefore, all beings do not suffer. Do they suffer equally? Also, no. Uh, some suffer more, some suffer less uh, because of their own situation, their own karma, their own, you know, uh, how they react, how they see, how they feel, how they, you know, uh, what kind of karmic situation they have. Uh, is there a difference between the dog suffering and the mosquito suffering? It's not about dog or mosquito, it's about the person or the being themselves. You know, uh, some, some dogs might suffer more than the others, some mosquitoes might suffer more than the others. You know, so, so one, we don't know exactly. What about trees and flowers? I don't know. You know that's, uh, you know, it, it, it depends. If the tree has a consciousness, then uh, it might suffer. If a tree doesn't have consciousness, then it might not suffer. Uh, whether trees and flowers have that or not, we can't say exactly, but it is possible from Buddhist point of view that a consciousness can get attached to anything, not only living things, but even non-living things, you know, from Buddhist point of view. Even a pillar can have uh, your your consciousness attached to a pillar or the door or a rope or whatever it is said. So do we cause suffering when we cut a tree or collect flowers out in the fields? I don't know. Uh, it depends on whether they have consciousness or not. And I think we cannot uh, universally say that yes or no, because it depends on uh, whether they have consciousness or not and whether that being is of the suffering kind or not, I think. So I think this is the first question. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.